that does leave some loose ends. Personally, I feel it is not desirable for a teacher of the opposite sex to punish secondary age pupils, and that probably only female teachers should punish primary age children, but perhaps I do tend towards a conservative viewpoint on the issue. It is notable that in Dr. Dominum's school, a boys-only school, some female staff have at times been authorized to cane, and they have not been restricted as regards the ages of boys caned. If I understand correctly, equal opportunities laws make this almost inevitable, and it apparently causes few if any problems. I have no knowledge as to whether there are any similar girls' schools using CP, and if so what happens in them with regard to male staff. However, this is probably irrelevant, because in the UK situation, there are already some exemptions to such equal opportunity laws exist, and I cannot conceive of a situation where female teacher-only punishment in primary school and same-sex-only punishment in secondary school would not be possible within a properly regulated system. All girls' schools staffed by all male staff do not exist outside of CP fiction.